So they're cracking down against street dealers, and that's good news for bankers. Zimbabwe Zig prompts scrapping of vesting rules on stock market so that it looks like this. They wipe out, absolutely wipe out your fiat money wealth. This is simply an illusion. In today's video, the incredible Lynette Zhang dives deep into the fascinating world of currency transitions. Ever wondered what Zimbabwe's latest moves with their currency mean for the rest of the world? Well, Lynette is here to break it all down for us. She'll uncover the real story behind Zimbabwe's currency transition and what it reveals about the future of gold-backed currencies. This is a must-watch for anyone interested in global economics, the future of money, and the stability that gold can bring. Don't miss out on these crucial insights. Let's get started. This is important for you to know. This whole thing is unfolding. With Zimbabwe, you guys know, once they were the breadbasket of Africa, they could feed the entire continent. That changed. So Zimbabwe's cabinet says more than half of the population needs food. As we're going through these monetary transitions, the biggest issue for most people is food, which is exactly why the mantra goes, food, water, energy, security, barterability, wealth preservation, which is gold, barterability is silver, community, because we're running out of time, we have to come together to help each other through this, and shelter. So here we go. Once the breadbasket of Africa, half the population needs food aid. That is not really a good thing, but a total of 7.7 .7 million people, being 51% of the population, will require food assistance. This excludes a further 4.5 million who would require school meals. I'm telling you, you've got to do something to create security in every single aspect of your life if you want to sustain a reasonable standard of living. Because really what the powers that be know is that if you can't feed your family and you are hopeless, you will now make choices you would not otherwise make. Let's create a quiet revolution and a peaceful revolution simply by converting the garbage fiat that they're pumping out ad nauseum and without li limits into sound money. Critically important. Let me show you what's happening as they're attempting to get the confidence of the public back. Because you know they came out with the zig. We've talked about that. Well, they have to get adoption and they were having trouble doing it because all confidence is lost. So they're cracking down against street dealers and that's good news for bankers. So it's forcing people to go into the banks. Demand for foreign exchange services grow, Banker Group says. Zimbabwe's crackdown mirrors measures by other governments in the region where local currency depreciation has Fanned inflation. This is what creates that local currency depreciation. Just like the inflation that you and I have been experiencing when we're buying anything. So let's see. Stoking a cost of living crisis that spilled into public unrest. I'm telling you, when people are hungry and hopeless, they make choices they would not otherwise make. But prior to the conversion, listen to this people. This is We are following the same path. Prior to the conversion, investors piled into stocks as they sought refuge from the local dollar's collapse and surging inflation. And it looks great on the way up, but look at what it looks like on the way down. The value of shareholdings was simply converted into ZIG without any alteration to the number of shares held. And the currency was converted overnight. So let's see, where's my... Where's my 10 trillion? Well, I guess it doesn't matter because they're all the same anyway. So $10 trillion Zimbabwe night, overnight devaluation, revaluation against gold. Gold goes up, the currency goes down. Everything that's denominated in that currency also goes down, including gold, but not immediately. We have that window. It's part of the sound money strategy is to take advantage of those overnight currency reset. Zimbabwe's new currency has wiped out a gain of more than 330% on the stock market this year, leaving investors dealing with a fallout. 
Now, do you think they were lulled into this false sense of security? And by the way, remember now it's been maybe about two two years ish when they came out with a one ounce gold coin to help protect people's purchasing power. Well. In the strategy, if you are indeed invested in fiat money products like the stock market, that happens. Guess what happens to gold? Stock market plummets. The value in terms of that currency in gold goes way up. So it is a true diversifier. And any of those entities and people that had bought those one ounce gold coins, well, if they didn't, they're wiped out. But if they did, they are made whole. You see what I'm saying here? Adam, is that clear or do I need to say it in another way? No, that's clear. Okay, want that to be perfectly clear. Zimbabwe Zig prompts scrapping of vesting rules on stock market. So vesting means that you had to hold the stocks for a certain period of time before you could sell them. But now, since it's there's no value in the stocks, yeah, forget those vesting rules. Authorities to scrap a rule in place since 22 when they were trying to support the stock market and get more people in there that requires investors on its main bourse, which is the exchange, of 180 days or risk paying a higher capital gains tax. So this is what governments do. They have in this country, in the U.S., right? What do you have a lower capital gains tax if you hold stocks at least a year? But they don't do that with gold. Why? Because they don't want you to own gold. They want you to own stocks. Why do they want you to own stocks? They want you to own stocks so that it looks like this. They wipe out, absolutely wipe out your fiat money wealth. This is simply an illusion. Make no mistake about it. Don't get caught up in this illusion. It will not serve you well. Treasury authorizes a 50-50 currency split for tax payments. So you see how they are nudging the population to do what they want. Because up until this point, they were paying their taxes in primarily whatever currency they were using in their business. And that's a policy that's been in place since 2020 because there was no confidence in the Zimbabwe dollar. So they allowed U.S. dollars and other foreign currencies to circulate inside the country. But a policy has been in place since 2020 that allowed taxes to be settled in the currencies businesses mostly traded in. The new system will specify what ratio of taxes will need to be paid in ZIG and foreign currency, and those that can only settle in the new unit, in the ZIG. So they are creating demand, just like the U.S. did for being the world reserve currency and everybody else in the world having to buy oil with dollars, which is not true anymore. Okay, so that's what governments do. They create a false demand. Paying taxes in ZIG can increase demand for the local currency, potentially boosting its value and certainly boosting its use. They're struggling to regain that confidence and they will use any tool in their arsenal to do that. You want to be protected from that? Here you go. It really is simple. Let's have a quiet revolution and position into physical gold and silver now while we still can and avoid being caught in this currency trap. Really, really important. Zimbabwe's new currency gets its own code after two months. Again, this is all about trying to build credibility, trying to build use. And even though there is supposedly a gold unit backing this currency, it is not convertible. So they could do anything they want and they can build it up, regain the confidence. And once they get the confidence, guess what's happened? Same thing has happened before. Effective June 25, the new currency code will be ZWG. That is not yet in um, at least the, the money conversion tables that I've been using. It hasn't come up yet, but it will. 
And the IMF says Zimbabwe zig has ended that bout of instability. Oh, see that? Except they don't really have the confidence yet. This is why we need to watch this because what we're seeing is our future. And that future is unfolding in Zimbabwe. And Zimbabwe is showing the world whether or not this loss of confidence, how far can you push these people? How long can you go without confidence, right? This is the sixth attempt. This is the sixth overnight reset to regain that confidence and that stability. That wraps up today's insightful discussion with Lynette Zhang on Zimbabwe's currency transition and the broader implications for gold-backed currencies. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest updates and deep dives into the world of finance. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.